I'm about to open up my YouTube Shorts page and I'm going to scroll through it until I find, watch, and analyze 100 viral YouTube Shorts. The goal? See what makes a YouTube Short go viral and how you can apply it to your content. Let's do this. Okay, I'm already starting to see a lot of people looking right at the camera and also a lot of strong motion at the front. Is this supposed to be Archie from Riverdale? I am 33 YouTube shorts in, and the first big thing I'm noticing is that most of them, they really hook you in. So it seems like the thing that people pay the most attention to is either text at the beginning, someone's face, or a really strong movement, or a combination of them. Apparently I've made it to fan edit shorts. We are two thirds of the way through and the second thing I'm noticing is that most of the viral shorts have multiple characters or at least cut between multiple people. Having multiple either cuts or multiple people in it creates a more engaging reel and makes it so people like or share or view it more. This is the last one. I didn't think I'd be watching these for an hour. And that is the 100th YouTube viral short that I analyzed. And one thing stood out to me the very most about all of these. This last observation can set your videos apart from the rest. The final thing that so many of these have in common is that you are able to watch them without the audio, whether that is because of captioning or that the joke or premise is told without sound or through physical jokes. So many of these you don't need audio for. I'll show you some right now. Lo and behold, Mr. Beast is doing it probably the best. If we watch this video first, we hop right in with two people's faces, text, and strong movement. Next, we have multiple characters. We see Mr. Beast and Gordon Ramsay at the same time. Not only is it multiple characters, it's two very culturally significant characters. And finally, if I mute this, this video still makes sense. You can see Mr. Beast watching, you can see the reactions, and the text tells you what's going on. So this perfectly checks all three of the criteria, and look, it has 6.9 million views. So if you want your next short to perform better, make sure to do these three things. Make sure that you have a strong hook at the beginning using text, motion, a face, or a combination of those three. Have multiple characters or cut between some sort of multiple angles or tell a story between more than just one thing. Make it so someone can understand your short without audio. 